So you want to find the domain of this composite function. When you combine f of g, you get, you plug in g of x for any x component on f, on f of x. So we get square root of one minus x minus two. And actually this minus two doesn't matter at all. All we care about is inside here. And whatever's in here. So the square root of one minus x has to be greater than or equal to um, what's in once excuse me, what's inside of it uh, has to be greater than greater than or equal to zero. So one minus x has to be greater than or equal to zero. So one minus x greater than or equal to zero. Subtract one. So negative x is greater than or equal to negative one. And then divide through by negative one. We get um, x and you switch the signs is less than or equal to one. So if it's one, one minus one equals zero. If it's zero, one minus zero, because zero is less than one, or if it's like negative one, then it becomes two. Um, so that, that's what works out. So x is anything less than or equal to one.